Hello, everybody. I'm the Curious Con Man. Today, we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4. <gasps> is that a Norwegian man using a coastal gun to shoot at this German cruiser, the Blucha? <gasps> I think it is. Well, if some pensioners can sink the German Navy, so can I. Properly motivated by this historical artwork, I think there is only one proper nation to play in a new DLC, Arms Against Tyranny, a sewer. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I feel motivated to play as a sewer and, well, under the leadership of Muhammad, y'all, we are going to create the Negus of Ethiopia. Yes. Oh, I definitely want that state bank. Offer me money. Oh, don't worry, I jest. Today, we're going to be playing as... Aww. Norway, yes. So, as Norway, you can do a number of very cool things. Oh, look at that lovely leader portrait. Yes, you can obviously continue with the current government. Do the stumbling, storting, uh, that's, that's not a word, is it? Or, of course, you can go a little laborist if you, if you have your, uh, prone to that. Ho, 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 if you're a Twitter user. But as much as I'd love to play Finland, and, well, everyone is going to be playing Finland, I wanted to do Norway because of, well, the... <laughs> this is the degrading Quisling portraits is really funny. Well, as you can see, we have a number of divisions, 10 to be exact. We'll put that in an army. Oh, look at this lovely number of guides. Carl Gustav Flescher. Oh, I like the look at him. Yes, and no field marshal. Ugh. But we have start with 11 factories, about 3 million people into our state. And, uh, well, let's just say the current government isn't exactly too popular. Yes. So, well, instead of continuing of his goofy uh, labor, uh, can, whatever, what government is it? What party are you? Instead of continuing with the goofy little old label party, we're going to be going through the stumbling storting. The sorting being, of course, where the parliament is held, I believe, yes. Our current afflictions, of course, is our terrible cabinet, our obsolete military. We're still suffering from the Great Depression. That is a big hit. Anti-communist sentiment, which, of course, is going to reflect more on national socialism. Well, uh, you don't understand. One random guy on Twitter told me that fascism and communism was the same thing. How could this be? That's, that's two Twitter jokes back to back. I'm, I should get off Twitter. Hopefully, well, either restore the Kalmar Union... Proclaim Nordic Unity, or the North Sea Empire. You know, I like the sound of that. Well, let's get started, shall we? I was wondering how I got a factory out of nowhere. I guess I'm trading with Sweden. Thanks, Sweden. Well, as war in Europe looms ever more inevitable, the Norwegian parliament, the Storting, is, I'm not saying that right, is rocked by waves of chaos and discord. The indications that uh, the cabinet uh, will have stability is long gone and ouch, negative 20 to, at least it was 7 to begin with, I... I have to at least thank him for that. Yeah, so instead of doing the goofy old King of Norway stuff, we're going to be going a little more, how do I say this, sussy. Well, it looks like Sweden isn't faring much better. Their parliament is kind of in shambles, so to speak. Yes, I am currently playing on a early access version. Thank you very much. Ouch. Well, one must imagine Sisyphus happy. I saw that. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I... No, Asua! As you can see, we're working on an early access version, so apologies if there is some capitalization errors. I'm sure those will get resolved because, oh, no, don't buy the DLC. There's a capitalization error. <laughs> don't mind that there is literally so much action comp. Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and of course, Iceland. Come on, that's a steal, bros. <laughs> Good thing no one here watching is a grammar Nazi. Oh, and of course, one of the more notable things is when I go to produce this convoy build with a military industrial organization. Wow. Well, as you can see here, instead of just assigning a... Well, you can have industrial concerns here, I guess. Well, there you go. But instead here, now we have military industrial organizations for different kinds of equipment, which correspond to different industries, as you can see here. And you can level up these industries like their generals which give you certain bonuses and such and such, which I think just is a little more realism, a little more stuff to do, so to say. Get the industrialists on board. I think we did that. Now let's ask uh, the, the guys fighting Schmitty. Okay, all right. <gasps> they changed the victory point symbol. That is new. When, since when was it a pentagon? I don't think I'll ever recover from Minsk being a I don't think I'll ever recover from Smolensk being a pentagon. So, naturally, I'm going to assign a infantry weapons manufacturer to our guns here. Hopefully, that will uh, be better for us in the long run there. Um, and, of course, I will eventually work up towards getting 
early mobilization but that complacent cabinet that is that has got a what the hell oh come on this ain't fair everyone else is having their dictatorial regimes change but I don't I find that rather hypocritical so while we patiently wait for more people to become more and more racist we are going to rearm ourselves a little yes there uh, as you can see we have more guns and oh one thing to notice here building an independent Norway this allows us to have lots and lots of consumer good bonuses civilian factory bonuses pretty cool stuff of course that gets removed if you are a subject of a nation so you know other people don't really benefit when they conquer you. The fascist rask Lev Trotsky. That Trotsky? Well, don't... Mu <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. We just kind of broke into a random dude's home. That's not nice. Well, let's give this man an office. Can I pop him up here? Where is he? There he is. All right, I know I'm not gonna get him, but it's still kind of funny. Oh, in a much similar vein to the Spanish Civil War, looks like we have to build support in various regions and... For some reason, it is costing us convoys. That kind of sucks. Well, I suppose I must get a head start on the whole, you know, fascist demagogue advisor, which there are plenty of. Lots of leader portraits here. Gotta, gotta like that. There are some nice looking leader portraits, I must say. Except for, uh, well, I'm glad they didn't get rid of big old eyebrows or Santa Claus. Okay, when I said, oh my god, thank god there isn't any more fallen governments, I didn't actually mean to become one, UK. Looks like the, the band really is getting back together oh no oh, god you know i feel like it's one of those moments where i gotta figure out more planes to build than just transport planes maybe you should really stop focusing on the whole computering thing I like how they're just kind of dissing the fascist party here saying that it wasn't ever gonna amount to anything so that's why we must now spend so many extensive government resources building support we we're really starting from nothing. We were really starting from nothing here at the beginning. I'll tell you that. I remember one of the big things about uh, uh, Norwegian history during World War II was that uh, Quisling here, right? He kind of just tricked the Germans into thinking he was more popular than he actually was. <laughs> one must imagine Angela in Spain happy. Hey, Jose, I'm glad that nothing's happening to hope. Holy shit. What is going on in this world? I am so glad they made that one leader portrait for Jose just for him to die within a week. God damn it, that sound effect. Okay, you know what? I'm I just I'm I'm just gonna give up at this point. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, Latvia, Lithuania, and no, 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 not Finland, not you. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Minus ten. Yeah, there there's the whole he actually isn't very popular thing coming in fruition. But oh well, I need that 35% fascist support to get him into now estonia oh at least you aren't communist i guess not that not that this is preferred well i guess it's preferable because you know what never mind do they really have the need to just start calling stuff in italian for real Yo, how the how the hell did that happen oh well, shit. Ooh, don't mind me if I do. I'll add that Norwegian company onto that airplane. Look at that. Well, uh, there goes Kaiser and Victoria. Sorry. Chaos is brewing, I swear. Ah, so now I can, well, with the helpful use of this international market. Ugh, they're growing more liberal than dev team by the day. Kidding. Uh, I can purchase some Dutch weapons. Don't mind me if I produce... What if I... How much would it cost to grab all just 900 of those? How long would that take? A year? And I'd have to give up a factory for it. That probably isn't worth it, is it? How many factories did I just trade? All of them? Okay, I just had no factories to begin with. That's that's nice. <laughs> One must imagine Finland happy. I, I doubt it. Well, as you can see, don't mind us. I'm going to increase the reliability of uh, specifically naval stuff that's nice well and of course because uh germany proper doesn't exist anymore we are going to invite instead of germany invading us italy invading us i doubt they'll say yes however don't mind me look at this norwegian fighter oh this baby is definitely from this century and it will if I had the experience points dominate the skies one must imagine stalin ha Ugh. Goodness gracious. Well, the Soviet Civil War begins and uh, Bulgarian has got what, what world have we joined here? Oh, okay. We got to prepare for this mentally. So we got to politely ask Mr. Mussolini over here 
to commit to an invasion of Norway with his entire armed forces. So, whew, I got this. Hello, Mr. Mussolini. Would you like to invade me, please? Oh, bollocks! Oh, you, you watch out there. I got a war declaration now. Well, that seems that that ship has passed, so I guess I can... Do the coup. Alrighty, well, I guess it's about time more than ever. It is 1938, getting a little too uh, late for my measures. And oh, well, there you go, Sisyphus sound effect. Norway has declared war. Oh, look at this. That's a pretty smooth portrait. He looks uh, pretty decent. Well, I'll tell you, that's not gonna last. All right, who do we left with? Jacob, congratulations. You're promoted. Let me throw my new militia divisions into here, and well, we best get started. Uh, I don't know how much of a one-up we have, but I'll tell you, the odds don't exactly look to be in my fit. God damn it. Hey, at least, look, we got a little new, little new guys, little new player models running around. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's quickly encircle, take the capital, the whole nine yards. Well, Norway looks to be a pretty solid, pretty easy fight, and, well, secured for the Quislings. And, well, military takeover. I get how to do this civil war. All right, all right. I have no idea what that name is. I think it's National Norwegian Reich, something like that. Uh, Nor Norwegian is up there as a silly language, right next to Dutch. And the French commune one? They don't have a folk! They do have a focus tree, I misspoke. So, the world has gone to shit. One might ask what my game plan here for the future is. Well, as you can see, we have the wonderful Vinkin Quisling. Now, nice. And he is, well, one of the only fascist regimes left, besides for Italy, but for some reason they hate me. Or, I hate them. It's a whole thing. The only democracy left is, of course, Germany in the United States. Hey, yo, yo, I see that. Well, shit. Yes, looks like Germany's gonna be the protector of freedom in this world. And Italy's finally going ham on the Ethiopian anarchists. Lovely. So what should I do? That is the question. Well, I think my first stop should probably be Denmark if I'm on my way to proclaim the North Sea Imperium. And finally, the remnants of the democratic government has collapsed. Lovely. Okay, so now we have to secure our regime somehow. Uh, well, as much as I'd love to get rid of him, I think I'm gonna keep him. Which actually seems like the less... You know, either way... It looks like our stability is just being shat on here, man. Norwegian school economics, I like the sound of that. Negative 10% consumer goods. Of course, that doesn't exactly mean negative 10% consumer goods. Now it kind of factors down so that you can't exactly get to negative zero. How sad. Of course, it looks like the main thing we should be going for here is quote-unquote special divisions. As we get a lot of bonuses here, and we are, uh, what's the word? It's suggested in this focus tree that you should yeah here you go do a little bit of special division shenanigans Ooh, would you look at that our fascist advocate here uh, adds plus 20 print 20 plus tw Ooh, look our fascist advocate over here adds plus 20 percent stability i think that is a oh that was probably worth it and then of course we got a uh, as you can see, conservative businessmen basically have to cooperate with the bourgeoisie class. <laughs> oh, and if you notice, they reworked divisions a little bit, so part of our line battalions are locked behind our land doctrines. See, and we only have lines of infantry here. I can't add anything. However, I can start a new group and either go motorized artillery or, of course, go to regular artillery. You see? Simple. And I believe they made support companies, such as engineer companies and the other ones, much more beneficial. So, I think I'll definitely be sticking with that. Well, shoot. As you can see, well, I'll show you. They changed the combat width. I remember reading this. So, it's only 70 now for planes. Forests is 60. And mountains are 50. So, what's a number I can fit into that easily? I don't know. The least common, uh, the, you know... The uh, greatest common factor between 70 and 60 is 10, but I'm not making 10 whips, so I'll probably just end up making 20. Is this really... We really return into the the age of the 20 with? Oh, shit. And of course, those special divisions are going to be Marines, and I could probably get paratroopers if I surprised them, right? Because, well, the big game plan here is Norway to Denmark to Britain, and I gotta take out Sweden, which are, oh, well, it looks like the Italian-Swedish axis is forming. I never thought I'd say that. Italian diplomatic isolation. Well, I, I, 
You can see that coming from a mile away, but you guys are completely different ideologies at this point. Come on. But the, uh, the real kicker here is I desperately need all of the resources that, uh, I'm gonna get you up here, that Sweden has. So as soon as they turn fascist, um, hopefully Germany doesn't come to their aid, I, is kind of my assumption. I don't want to chance it right now. I will be able to invade, and hopefully with a superior army, due to my, well, being fascist before them, right? <laughs> I have to say, this soundtrack is pretty ballin'. Oh, hey, look, I can buy some really cheap Yugoslavian inf infantry equipment on the black market that way. Well, how the... When the hell did that happen? They just submit? Damn, Italy is on a roll, I am telling you, man. And they went through a civil war. Oh, the end of the League of Nations. Oh, shit. I, I don't imagine uh, Ireland being very happy about that one, boys. Oh. Crap. Oh man, dude, I should have made these marines and mountaineers so much early because, oh, now we're warning against Latvia. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Oh, I gotta, I gotta set up a naval invasion and, oh shoot, maybe I should really be able to say, oh, don't mind me, I'm going to build a now brand new interwar tank. I know, we're lovely. It's gonna be like that finish. Oh, look at that beauty right there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to be the idiot who doesn't put a radio in the tank, so don't mind me. And, oh, yep, here we are. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put that right there. Oh. Oh, shit, that was the wrong man... Wait, which, which, which Soviet Union did you... Uh, yeah, that was the wrong Soviet Union there, but I'm telling you, they are, uh, they are buffing Norway just... Well, way too much. Ho, 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 don't mind me. Our Navy is just getting in position to deploy... Gulf of Finland, what do I need? Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, one sec. Come on, I got till the 11th. Yo, yo, please. Don't do this to me, bros. Don't do- You know, I'll do it. Potential enemies? Who? Cause... Shit. I, I don't think that's how that works. I think I'm... Fine. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. French commune. Oh, there you go. And, of course, the French Navy comes out, and now I can't do my Navy invasion. <sighs> well, shit. Well, I was going to go to war eventually, right? Maybe... God damn it, come on. This is no fun. I don't I don't know what they did with this soundtrack, but it is fire. Alright, you see, here is the, uh, what's it, the crack that I'm on, basically, so to say. I go to war with Latvia to clip my Naval Division's move, right? But now I'm at war with the USSR and France. However... Who is the leader of the Soviet bloc? That is Joseph Stalin. Who is losing the Civil War? That's right, Joseph Stalin. And well, it looks like our divisions have landed relatively easily. I don't see anyone in Riga. So as long as I go all the way out here and kind of capture all the ports, that's the most important thing, right? Oh, oh let me get capital, capital. I think we should cook just Fine. Don't mind us. We're just well, casually to killing your entire country. Oh, yep, yep, yep. See, see? We got some guys here. Um, my hope is that they kind of finish that war relatively soon there, uh, Bukharin. Who will win? Our pride of the fleet or a couple subs? I... No one. You know, I feel like we kind of got to get out of here before stuff actually starts to sink. Uh, bit, uh, bit nervous of that. No, 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 not my divisions! No, no, shit! Ladies and gentlemen, it appears as though we're kind of losing this, so I think a backup plan should initiate, and let's get the hell out of here. Thank you very much. Oh, no, not you. Oh, but yo, yo, Confederate States, Soviets, large-scale exercises, Germany. Doesn't that mean the Soviets get some ridiculous buff? Oh, I know it's there. Bulwark, yeah, and, uh, well, shit, the United States is experiencing a civil war. You don't usually see that. Why, why do they get this buff spirit of the rebellion? That is just, that's just straight up ridiculous, bro. Dude, why are they bombing northern Norway? I'm, that's not very cool of them. Looks like I'm gonna have to intercept those fighters. Let's go see some action, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit, why is it taking so long for them to deploy? Oh, thank God, the revisionists are here to save us. Whoo! Well, at least I did my fair share of beating up Latvia, so I like to think I'm pretty decent. God damn it, what is that, France that's coming back in? Come on, guys. Oh, would you look at that? Kosovo is Albania. Huh, how relevant. Ooh, guys, I almost forgot we have an action plan to get the hell out of Estonia. Ooh, that was close. And we'll go all the way up here. Don't mind me, Murmansk. Oh, not Finnmark, not 
Actually, yeah, Finnmark works. All right, sweet. I knew it. Vast bit Estonia, join the Asian Federation. I knew you were mongoloids the whole time. Uh, well, as much as I would love to keep the sane and Vidgen quizzling, it is time for us to go to war. Yes, uh, with that Sisyphus sound effect, let me just say that I want to intervene in this Finnish Civil War, take a couple of northern stuff. There's, there's resources here, right? Oh, yeah, there is. I totally need those. All right, sweet. Oh shit, he was... he wasn't bad looking, now he got... You can kind of see he has a bit of a double chin there, I don't... He looks a bit rough, don't find me, just going to get this defeatist commander. I see no problems with this. Oh, Yellow River, oh, ouch. Well, I'm glad you killed tens of millions of people there, that's pretty cool. Who took control of the what now? Who's the leader of this thing? Right, them. Gotcha. Oh shit, why, why is Northern Finland so strong, bro? I, I, I was so busy looking at this, how, how did I miss this? What is this? The Norden League? Well, that's, that's pretty cool. And there we go, Germany under attack. By whom? England. Well, it looks like we have a common party to go to Germany. Do I want to join the Asian Confederation? <laughs> Kinda. Uh... <laughs> You know what? Sure. Alright, the hope is I can take their victory points and kind of kick them out before stuff gets serious. Well, I'd say that that is a... Oh, poor Confederates. That's a wrap. Well, hey, there you go. And we found weapon caches? Oh, Finnish resistance. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, I'm glad they added so much fun, huh? Oh, we're importing allied... Hicks, Allied Films from Manchuria. Oh, I wonder what this stuff is about. Oh, our war. Oh, well, I got some new ice, some new Viking divisions ready to pop out, ready to go. And now they aren't exactly crazy, but I'll take the free artillery when I can get it. Because we'll need it when I'm going to war with the other fascists. I'm the only rightful fascist here. Look, we're wearing the same stuff. It's like when a woman sees another woman wearing the same dress. That just ain't acceptable. At least... I got more weapons. I've, did they delete the visions? Are you guys ridiculous or something? Oh, it looks like I, I have some way to go before I revive the Nordisvelt or whatever this is and I get the finally most uncanny Vidkin Quisling. Well, the workers unite in the Second American Civil War. Congratulations, Arrow Bauer. It looks like you have some shenanigans to do. I kind of was going to go to one in Finland. Finland, this is going to be rather difficult. Anyways, right, Sweden. So, I can either embrace the carabiner bolt-action rifles or the semi-auto Garand. I think I know which one I am picking good, sir. Oh, 25 days, that's not long at all. Oh, yes, now we got six new wonderful divisions out ready on the field. Our, well, our one artillery one, some crazy infantry ones, and then our one mountaineer. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that Sisyphus sound effect. That means we are going to war with Sweden. Again, there can only be one yellow shirted gentleman and that is me and it well yep yep there you go the united states is now feeling the entire fateful wrath of great britain i really do need to go in there and take england before uh shit hits the fan and i lose it all well i thought that invading sweden would be a lot harder than whatever the hell is going on here looks like the power of having a brain and micromanaging really does pay off in the end dude i swear these norwegian divisions when you select them they yell at you well, I don't know why they're not in Stockholm, but I'll happily waltz right in. Thank you very much, good sir. That was very easy. Now I gotta take a marmo. I know my Swedish geography. I've played Euro Truck Simulator. Well, it appears as though we have a couple mutinies here and there. I feel like that is, uh, bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snort? The defense? <gasps> That is the best and the worst thing that could possibly happen to me. Not only am I now singly, these guys can't join the allies or whatever other faction, but also I am now fighting Finland, Denmark, Iceland, and Sweden. Oh, shit. Well, time for me to uh, just uh, put my head down and micromanage this. I knew it. I knew it. Mexico really was a European nation. Uh, this, this just proves it. I'm sorry, Iceland. Simply saying you don't want to fight isn't going to stop me from coming over there. Oh, perfect, perfect. They capitulated, which I could, which is definitely pretty useful. Oh, okay. Well, they got a few guys here and there. So, 
Game plan here. Let's uh, put basically all my divisions up here, all the most important ones. I know the supply is going to hurt. I don't know how to micromanage that properly. All right, then we'll put all these shitty militia divisions. Thank you very much. Can go down here under the end mark. Kind of. Or, you know what, fuck it. I'll put all of them. Let's see if they can carry their weight. Oh, oh we got weapon caches. Excellent news. Do not bother me. I swear, there's more RP mechanics in Hearts of Iron 4 now than in Starfield. I can kind of customize my tank cores to be a little bit better at the whole light tank division. Oh, I thought for a minute they were fascists and they are going to have the fascists do, but nope, sorry. It's just Tim Buck. Sorry, Denmark, but bringing back the monarchy isn't just going to improve your whole mi military situation. Uh, I'm kind of sad I haven't taken them out in six hours, but oh well. <laughs> Who blew up the mines? What the hell? Don't worry, somehow I'm convincing the populace to fight this <laughs> this stupid war. Look, look, look at my military factories, 19. I mean, help the Finnish and the Danes are bigger than me. All right, we're gonna get that uh, that crazy World War One anti-tank rifle that requires two people. Applin counteroffensive. Finally, I've been waiting for that World War to start. Who did it? Germany's fighting an offensive. Oh, well, it looks like. <laughs> Deutschland is now fighting on a two-front axis. At least they have... Wait a second. Germany, Austria, Hungary versus France. Great. Okay, well, that's a little... Yeah, there's there's the similarity. And, of course, Italy waits out in the sidelines, only to join at a later notice. <laughs> Excuse me, Finland. I, I don't like... Oh. Oh, they're doing the Confederated Finno-Russian Republics. So does that mean they get cores on... Oh, right, yes. This is that part of the focus tree where you can integrate Karelia and be a little more wholesome instead of deportations, you know what I mean? Well, sorry, I'm gonna be the piss yellow color at the end of this when I form the Kalmar Union, so. All right, so I finished the focus to get me, well, more buffed out infantry. As, actually, sorry, that is down here, yes. So, but I, <laughs> my line is failing down here because these are all shitty militias, so I need to get more guys. I have the manpower because I just went to service by requirement. However, I do not have the guns. Let's say, how many tiles are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, let's say seven for good measure. That's about all my manpower. 4,000. So let's go to the international market and purchase 4,000 guns. Ah, I just love international arms dealing and shopping. Ooh, is that Venezuela? I will happily take all of those guns thank you very much uh if i add just go do that total cost and they will happily accept bada bing bada boom how's that now let me get more guns italian rifles i'll happily take that too there we go all right i you know screw it i don't i'm not building anything right now and for some reason albania has eight, 1800 guns you know i I had a little more high hopes for France there. I understand this is in Kaiserreich, but come on. Oh, shit. Estonia is just offering for straight up free over here. They're, they're losing out. Look, and there you go. Tracking these shipments from all around the world. Oh, yeah. And, um, to this point, we're just fighting. Looks like militia divisions. I don't know who else they're fighting. No one. They're just me. Dude. Finland, I guess, is just that doo-doo. I guess they were in an eternal civil war right there, weren't they? See, I'm telling you, you guys are losing out. So the current situation right now is that I'm currently uh, taking it to town on Finland, I think. It's pretty hard with the minimal supply up here. I can maybe be able to pay that. That actually could work. I'm trying to make sure we get enough stuff down here. But uh, the USSR is still in their civil war. Stalin is over here in Vladivostok just chilling, I guess, being propped up by the French who are desperately fighting against Germany and Austria-Hungary. How they're doing it, I have no idea. Oh, and sorry, there goes your super powerful Finland. That's probably because they don't automatically get Sisu anymore. It, they have to, like, earn it through public trust and all this yada yada bull crap you can't just let a man have an overpowered country no matter where his cores are anymore oh i oh this is it i got the, the full nine yards I, I was gonna have an epic showdown and all right well never mind there we go iceland to denmark have i really done it have i took everything right yeah have i Wah, there it is! Now, as you can see, the Nordish Nationalist, whatever. Oh, uh, yes, a bit quizzling. It looks like, I think he's going to get a bit of an... Oh, naval battle right here. Oh, shit, that I'm involved in. Sorry, where was I? Right, reviving the Nordsvelt, Vidkin Quisling. 
Oh. Oh, shoot. Wow. Ouch. Negative 20 stability war support. I don't think he's worth it anymore. But, uh... And he kind of lost the haircut. What is that? His prison photo? Oh, well, yes. We have the Nordsvelt in this ugly yellow color. Let's make that to the Kalmar Union. Oh, ho, ho. Now we're the Scandinavian Empire. Unification of Scandia. Scandinavia. I like the sound of that. And, oh, we have a plenty of things right there. Oh, Nordic Unity. Don't mind me. Now we're an even darker shade. We have unified the Nords. Yes, Scandinavia belongs to the Nord. Who doesn't love some 100% GDP growth per month? I have nothing on China. Ooh, all right, we got a few more civilian factories to add to our impressive factory count. I need them because for some reason, even though I've cored Finland, they're still pretty pissed that I occupied their country. God, why did I let the Finnish and the Russians team up on each other? Oh, well, nonsense. I think Vidkin Quisling is uh, uh, a little uncanny, but he... <laughs> What is this focus I got, bro? Oh, all right. Big money, big money, big money on huh? Scotland, baby. Let's see. Do they say yes? Are you for real? Holy shit. Do I have a... Well. So much for a naval invasion. I guess I will continue to uh, push my uh, push my luck there. Let's see if they'll take Ireland. Excellent, 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 excellent news. Poland! When did that happen? Well, Poland is under... Uh, they're, they're playing survival mode right now, sorry. Things are a bit rough for them. Well, uh, that was pretty convenient with the French about to collapse, I, I think. Let me just diversify those elite forces, and now we gotta figure out, uh... Let's just say I could either focus up on those mountaineers or get those marines up and going. I think we're gonna need them. Oh, I, I, I didn't even know. You, you can, you can put little, uh, little, little medals. There's, there's some Norwegian-themed ones. That's pretty, oh, that's pretty... That's pretty cool. All right. And, oh my god, guys. What? And they just give me one thing? Yo, I thought you were my friend, Italy. How could you do this? Yo, I'm surprised it actually went this far before Turkey asked for an investment portfolio. All right. Edward, please say, no, I wanted to go to war with you. What are you doing? Well, this is seriously going to compli complicate things. Anyways, let's invest in Turkey. Lovely. Anyways, where were we? Right. Justifying on Britain. I speak against the great British people. You see... Oh, that was actually really quick. Well, uh... There's the Sisyphus sound effect. How lovely. I didn't get a chance to pop off that naval vision, did I? For shame. Well, <laughs> at least I got literally everything else on the border. There we go. Alright, our brave Norwegian fighters and... A couple of militia divisions that somehow got caught up in all this are now attempting to finally, once and for all, retake the home isles. So I think the plan right now is to invade as far as possible before they uh, naval invade me. I think I managed to get something off. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I actually did manage to land. Uh, to Liverpool we go, ladies and gentlemen. Happiest gentleman in Liverpool. Yeah, what, what would you look at that? That is easy slices for me i don't know where the whole army was i guess it was naval invading belgium uh, i'm glad they had their priorities straight oh shit well actually i should pay more attention to this so much for britannia ruling the ways with this one uh turns out they really just prob are you re-naval invading oh my god that, that was like only a few days guys chill well so much for my major modern war that i was going to fight let's take birmingham there we go I know, I want to take the lovely city of Birmingham. Sorry, Dublin is Norwegian. I thought we all agreed on I took London for a second. I, I, you saw that. Well, of course, any minute now, I guess I need to retake London again proper. Uh, well, I, I guess it's only rightful. I mean, the ruling family is uh, descendants of Norns, descendants of Norwegians, right? Come on, Viking legacy there, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you can trace back a path from uh, Queen Elizabeth and Charles III to uh, Muhammad. That's, that's crazy, bro. Oh, well, so much for uh, fighting and taking London. I guess I took Plymouth and that was it. Oh, well, I get to take the great uh, Royal Navy here and, oh, let me take the hood. Oh, well, beautiful. And I, I regret to mention that I kind of uh, forgot about the Isle of Man and I think Germany did that. So, well, there you go, Russell Leons. Uh, congratulations, you now rule the Isle of Man. But hi, well, you see, I think I did something a little bit... Huh! Turkish sea building, sure. Uh, I think I did something a little bit more based, a little bit more cool. Oh, I 
think I sunk, did I say a shark? Oh well, let us finally reclaim the North Sea Empire. Wow, wow, it's black. Oh well, and of course, yeah. Oh, why thank you Soviet Union for nothing? There we go, much better. Lovely, the North Sea Imperium all centered in Oslo. We have built the greatest empire known to man. And do I have cores on like London and stuff? I, I do. But not, uh, nope, nope, all the Brit, nope, not, not Scotland, though. Not Scotland. That's nice. All right, well, there you go. I think I did pretty well for myself as Vigian Quisling. We're going to actually be so based, we're going to crack down on civilian life and just be kind of a jerk. You know, I'd love to show you the map if it weren't for these huge stinking storm clouds all over the place. And, oh, watch out, it's snowing. And we have hygienic housing. What? I'm glad I'm glad Sweden has clean homes. Congratulations. Well, there you go. The North Sea and Pakistan. What? Oh. Strongest nation on earth. Well, there you go. Congratulations to the North Sea Empire. Thank you guys so much for watching. And well, bye, bl uh, bye, blood alone. Arms against tyranny. Well, to play the super the superpower overpower nations. Arms against tyranny comes out on the tenth. If this video comes out before then, let's see who knows. And so, I highly recommend you get it because it, honestly, it probably seems to be the best deal, Hoi Forward DLC to come out in a long while. And just maybe, just maybe, you guys can beat the French for me. I, how, how are they doing this? Thank you so much for watching. And I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much too. Aaron Moon Unit, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Antonio Law, 2021, Casual, oh, nothing more can be said, and of course, Bo Nicky. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Peace.